I have no power in my house right now and I couldn't do my hair. So this is what we're dealing with today. This right here. Anyway, not the point of this video. Today we're going to be talking about the Cosorex Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence, which is something that a lot of people have been using for a very long time. This is a lot of people's holy grail, but I really wanted to speak on it. I did some research on it. I obviously have used this quite a bit. That's like a few few that's like more than a few uses actually before we get into everything that you are going to need to know about this product hi guys it's elena <laughs> be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video so let's get on with it this retails for about 23 dollars at ulta this is to help brighten and hydrate the skin for people who have dull and dehydrated skin this has 12 ingredients they kind of took the approach of just using the main ingredients and they didn't have to add any extra like foo foo fluff all over it so we are going to go through the ingredients list not all of it but most of it and i'm going to tell you what its functions are it's going to be quite the ride so buckle up the first ingredient in here is the Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, which makes up 95% of the skincare product. 95% of this is made up with this Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, which is also known as Patera SK2. Their whole thing, their like SK2 essence, I think is mostly made up with a ferment. Super popular, and it's also like $200. <laughs> so Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, it's a nutrient-dense yeast and a byproduct of fermented sake, which is basically like a Japanese rice wine. It contains antioxidants to help balance out free radicals. It contains peptides, amino acids, which are basically compounds that bind together to create protein like collagen, which helps us give the um, like the youthful bounciness on the skin very youthful a lot of collagen when you're younger also contains organic acids that very mildly exfoliate the skin it also contains micronutrients that gives the skin minerals and vitamins yeast releases these enzymes to help break down ingredients into smaller molecular sizes for easier absorption that isn't always good though because sometimes it breaks it down to a point where it's no longer active there's a little article that i read which i will link down below basically says that this ingredient can help boost your hyaluronic acid content that naturally forms in your skin in other words it triggers your epidermal cells to create its own hyaluronic acid that's really great that 95 percent of this product is made up with this ferment a lot of brands promote their products to be made up with a certain ingredient let's say it's like peach moisturizer I don't know whatever peach does to your skin I'm not sure but then you look at the ingredients list and like peach is like the last ingredient I don't really like when brands do that I really like the fact that they made this like most of the ingredient is what they're actually marketing and I really appreciate that the next ingredient that is on the list is niacinamide I messaged them and I asked how much niacinamide is really in this product and they said that they couldn't disclose that to me I'm like okay like i get it i guess that's legal i was doing some research and i really really wanted to know like how much niacinamide is in there because niacinamide is one of those ingredients that i love very deeply it has so many skin benefits it's like this multifunctional powerhouse of an ingredient it helps brighten and even the discoloration on your skin it helps boost your moisture and boost the function of your skin barrier it helps strengthen the skin it also contains anti-aging properties boosting collagen production there are just so many benefits to niacinamide and I love it so deeply and I was really upset that they couldn't disclose that with me because it's important for me to know how much I'm actually putting on my skin I know that since 95% of this product is made up with the ferment there's only really that 5% room for the 11 products that are going to be in there I came across this one reddit review this person said that they replied back and said 2% is actually niacinamide though I'm not 100% sure because it's not coming from the brand from my eyes directly like I didn't see that message I wasn't present. Here's my slight concern with 2%, 4 to 5% niacinamide. It's the range that you see a result. 2% is a little on the low side for me. It's not like I would buy this because of the niacinamide because I don't really think it would be that effective for my skin. There's so much research when it comes to niacinamide. When it comes to this Galactomyces Ferment Filtrate, it's not as heavily 
researched. A lot of people have an issue with this where it triggers fungal acne. If you want me to talk about fungal acne, I did a lot of research about fungal acne as well, so give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that fungal acne video. Fungal acne is really interesting, actually. Am I the only person that thinks fungal acne is interesting? Probably. Getting into the third ingredient, which is sodium hyaluronate. I always say that sodium hyaluronate is like hyaluronic acid's hotter sister. It's just more compatible, does the job more efficiently. It's a humectant basically pulling moisture from its surrounding. That can also be from your skin, not just the environment. So make sure if you are going to be using a humectant, make sure that you're going to be using with the skin that's already damp. A humectant not only pulls moisture from its environment, but it also locks in the hydration. It can hold up to about a thousand times its own weight in water. Betaine. Betaine? Betaine. Betaine. <laughs> Betaine, Betaine is basically a plant-derived or synthetic ingredient. It naturally occurs in our skin, in our body. It helps balance the skin's hydration by helping our skin to adapt to its moisture losses or gains. The fifth ingredient is panthenol, which is also a humectant, sometimes called vitamin B5. Another humectant for the sixth ingredient is glycerin. Glycerin is a very common, well-known humectant. For the eighth ingredient, it is this one. This is a byproduct of uric acid from urea. I don't think it's from urine, is it? This is a water binding and mild exfoliant. The ninth ingredient is butylene glycol. This is a very common texture enhancer, but it is also a humectant. For the 12th and last ingredient, it is this ingredient right here. It is another yeast derived ingredient. I know, like when you think about it, like putting yeast on your face, but yeast actually naturally occurs on the face. If there is an overproduction of yeast on your skin, that is where it leads to fungal acne. It contains anti-aging, anti-inflammatory properties with their skin restorative properties as well that is basically everything in the ingredients list let's talk a little bit about the texture it's like a thicker serum I don't know if you've ever felt any like snail essence products that they're thicker it kind of feels like glycerin this is what it feels like it spreads really nicely it does have this stickiness almost but if you put a moisturizer that does go away it also goes a long 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 way probably only need to use it once a day if you want to go ham and use it twice a day Day. I don't see anything wrong with it. You can mix it in with other products. For anyone who has fungal acne or who thinks they have fungal acne, I definitely would stay away from this. Galactomyces can trigger, worsen, activate your fungal acne. If you want to read that article, it's going to be linked down below. If fungal acne is an overproduction of yeast, Galactomyces is a yeast. Why would you put more yeast on your face when you have an overproduction of it? I love Cosrx, but I just wouldn't repurchase this product. I don't think it is necessary. One thing I noticed with it is that it did boost my hydration levels on my skin. If this works for you, let me know what your experience is. If it didn't work for you, still let me know what your experience is. I want to know your experience with this product. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. If you have any skincare requests, if you want me to do any skincare reviews, Leave it in the comments down below. Also, you can follow me at Elena Hinch. A lot of people have been DMing me there. Their questions, their skincare journey. It's really, really amazing to know that you guys trust me. I'm doing my best every single day to be more informed. Hopefully it's helping you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.